For parents and their children, this is obviously a stressful time, but perhaps even more so in cases of shared custody. In the midst of stay-at-home orders and social distancing, how should parents proceed when it comes to visitation schedules? Iowa News reporter Sheena Losciuto joins us tonight with more details. Well, a few parents have reached out to us, not sure what to do. There's a stay-at-home order in place, but they have shared custody of their children. Family lawyers are busier than ever right now, trying to answer all those questions. So we turn to one for advice. When Senator Aaron Lynch Prada isn't at the State House, the chairwoman of the Senate Judiciary Committee is working as a family law attorney. People are confused as to what they're supposed to do and not supposed to do. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues and people are being ordered to stay at home and limit interactions with each other, she's heard several concerns from people who have shared custody of their kids. So I've been in contact not only with the governor's office, but also, you know, with the chief judge of the family court. And I think that everybody is, you know, in agreement that people who have valid court orders should be following those court orders. That means if there's a set visitation schedule, she says you should still follow it. However, she knows everyone is in a different situation. Perhaps one parent has a high risk job while the other has a compromised immune system. You know, there are some circumstances, you know, that could warrant um, some change. And I think this is a time where parents really need to try and dig deep um, and try and talk with one another and make decisions together about what's in their children's best interest. So if parents can't come to an agreement on what they should or should not be doing, the family court still is open for emergencies. Lynch Prada explains that being deprived the right to see a child would be considered an emergency, so a judge could then weigh in. There really should be no issue. For example, if one parent lives in Seekonk and another parent lives um, in Providence or Pawtucket, let's say, you know, in a perfect world, if everybody's following, you know, the same guidelines and the same rules, there really should be no issue in transporting a child back and forth between parents. Lynch Prada says these guidelines set by the state ordering everyone to stay at home and social distance are supposed to be a shield to protect everyone. They're not supposed to be used as a weapon against each other. I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.